I am introducing to you the brand new Markham Technologies Pursuit HD. This is going to be a full HD camera in one of the smallest packages you're going to find. This is a big upgrade from some of Markham's previous technology and one of their biggest releases of this season. And I'm going to break down a full review on it and if it's right for you in this video. So this is a clear water lake traditionally, but uh, there's a lot of biology. It's a lot darker right now. Uh, and we're looking at, the sun is just now peeking out. A lot of this footage is actually being shot cloudy, end of the day, fall, in a little bit darker tinted water than typically. And the picture quality is actually turning out impressive. I've been varying it from 10 feet down to 30 and it holds on to color well and the image is actually really impressive. So right now I can say Markham made a big upgrade on the quality of the picture I'm getting. Uh, even in low light conditions. So this is something that you're gonna be able to use in a variety of lakes. You're not just stuck to shallow clear water lakes. It's a big upgrade from their recon. The Markham Pursuit HD is going to be incredibly similar to the recon in both look and function. So if you're upgrading, this is gonna be no problem. A big benefit is it it now only uses a micro USB cable for charging, which is really simple. It does, like I said previously, have the ability to reel up and the function of the screen itself is very similar to the recon. Easy buttons, easy to use menu, one tap to take a photo, which saves it to the card and built-in DVR and hold the record button and you're gonna be recording video. As for putting it on a computer, I have a run all Mac and it's been flawless for me, but obviously if you use a Windows and you have a different experience, please let me know. Um, this is going to be a huge upgrade to what we had on the Markham Recon. And then we're also getting, which I highly, highly requested on multiple blog posts, was the ability to actually spin the line back up. So this is going to be super nice because I can drop this off the boat. You can attach this. It's got the same attachment as the Recon did, where you can literally add this to any, um, kind of any GoPro style mount and just attach it to your boat. Uh, you're going to see me do this a lot with, you know, I've done this with the recon on the boat, you know, ice fishing on the lithium shuttle. Now you can just do the same thing with the pursuit, which is a huge bonus because this should be with you, not just on ice, but your open water adventures too. So the picture quality is going to be a huge upgrade as well as their setup when it comes to charging and recording video. I love the Quest. It's a great HD camera, but as you guys know, recording underwater footage with the Quest is a lot of work because I did a tutorial on it right up here. All you're gonna need is a class 10 SD, as little mini SD card, like you'd put in your GoPro, and instead of putting in your GoPro, you are actually going to put it in your Markham uh, Pursuit, and it's gonna record, it's that easy. You can take that footage, put it in YouTube videos, share it on Instagram, Facebook, it's fantastic. Show your friends. It, al it also has built-in DVR recording, so that's gonna be ideal, so I can show Matt or whoever what I saw on the water that day without putting it on a camera. One of the things you'll notice with Markham's technology is that they definitely change the color contrast based on the visibility. So as you're in darker conditions or later in the evening, you're going to lose color in hopes of having a more crisper image. I've noticed that with the pursuit so far, it's really been a lot more efficient um, than previous models in my opinion, and it's a good way to keep a good image. And you're gonna notice that a lot when you're getting in depths of 30 feet in even clearer lakes, and also when you're gonna be under a lot of snow. So I've been trolling, <laughs> but it's been, uh, it pulls through it pretty good. So I've just been sitting here while we've been trolling around and the camera works great for that because I can see what we're going over and comparing it to, you know, down imaging sonar is fantastic. Not only can I see the structure and understand that better, but I also can see, you know, just sizable fish, right? Like, is this a, is this a, is this a crappie? Is this a bluegill? Is this a bass? You can kind of learn your electronics really well this way. And this little guy does a pretty good job. <laughs> The nice thing is this is going to be a lot more discreet than your major, like the Quest camera is. That's still a fantastic camera. That's probably going to give you a little more range, but this thing is incredible for the size. And because it's smaller, it's going to be a less of a, um, kind of less of a distraction or of, of fear to fish. This is going to be a little bit more discreet and a little bit better if you're concerned about having a large camera, um, right in the face of a fish. When it comes to runtime on the Markham Pursuit, you're gonna get roughly six hours. Um, so far, that's tested to be relatively true. This is gonna depend a lot of times on 
um, kind of what you're doing with it and particularly what the temperature is outside, how old the battery is. There's a lot of variables in that, but the runtime itself has been very impressive. For what most anglers want to do with it, it's going to be sufficient. If you're going to record straight through for a YouTube channel, that's where you might have, you know, you might feel a little bit of a lag over time with an aging battery or colder temperatures, whatever it may be. That's where you're going to notice that. For most people, that won't be a concern. It's because it does have your stand your standard connection what you can do is actually mount it to any cheap amazon mount and you can just mount it here right off your boat and supplement your graph um you can mount it to like i've done in the past with the recon you can mount it to your you know ice fishing flashers uh lithium shuttle whatever it may be so i'll have those links below of those items but that's going to be a huge benefit um just for the you know on the go angler that really wants to see what's on their sonar by using their underwater camera. What we're seeing down there is a lot of zebra mussels, um, something I never really thought about, but literally all the rocks are zebra mussels. Got to see a really cool video of a sucker going and going from those rocks and eating. Very, very cool what you can see with this. What looks like a big fish on the flasher sometimes is just a sucker or some sort of um, rough fish that you maybe not, maybe not quite what you wanted. And that's one of the benefits of these underwater cameras is you can really learn not only can you dial in your fishing in that moment, but you can actually learn a lot about what you're seeing on your sonar. So it's always something great to have in the boat, mount it on your side, like I said, or bring it with you. Those are great ways to use any underwater camera that you own. Let's have a reel. I don't find this to be unbelievably efficient. Um, I still find that I'm manually reeling it, but it's a big improvement to the recon and it's gonna compete there with, with the competitive brands on that. So it was a good addition from Markham. So far, the quality of the video has, has been fantastic. If you're using it live, this is gonna blow you away. Um, something the recon had on some of, some of the units was you get water underneath the screen once in a while, moisture. That's not been an issue for me so far and I'm pretty sure they've resolved that. So that should be no concern. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Nicole Stone Outdoors. If you guys want more reviews, uh, be sure to subscribe and subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications, and leave a comment below because I really want to keep doing this uh, for future, future videos and give you guys as much value as I can.